I have to confess something. Mr. Cloud himself has a hard drive under his desk. Well, not anymore, but what I want to share today is my experience from working with large files like video files and using a mix of cloud services and also local storage to work with your footage. If you record videos like I do or produce large files with more devices than just one camera, then you easily end up with footage beyond like 50 gigabyte per movie, sometimes up to 200 gigabyte per movie. My rule is never to delete any footage that I have because sometimes I have the feeling I could use it for some of the movies. So I have footage that reaches back to my childhood. I don't know what I would use that footage for, but I used to have many different hard drives where I would copy the footage, then attach it, but it would be hard to like search through all the footage. And sometimes it's like just nice to go through like the whole footage very quick and search for a clip or a movie or something. I was looking for a setup that would combine cloud with a local storage to enable collaboration and collaborate a setup, cloud backup attached, working from a Mac and a PC at the same time, and something that is cheaper than a G Speed, which is like a portable hard drive, pretty big with built in hard drives. So it's not only one hard drive, but it's quite expensive. That's why we came up with this NAS system. We, we invested less than 2K for the whole setup. It's technically one, two, three, four, five hard drives that are linked together to work as one. We use the Synology NAS, which is the, the case. <laughs> the good thing about that this storage does not work like a traditional hard drive where you just store it on one drive and if you lose that one drive all the footage is lost. It works with a RAID system which means that it splits up the storage of the hard drive through all the different hard drives actually. Like it's the, the, the whole storage is divided. If you lose one hard drive, let's say there's a technical defect which can happen because there is like a physical hard drive, you just take the one that is lost and you put in another 10 terabyte hard drive and it starts to like rebuild your backup internally. And the good thing additionally to that one here that we built is that we A, connected it with like four ethernet cables to the, to the computer. So we're quite fast. I actually have to look up how fast we are. To give an example, I edit directly from the NAS and I render directly from the NAS, which is like very fast. And if I want to connect the Mac, I use a Thunderbolt cable and you can work with more people at the same time. Where do we have the cloud storage? Well, there is an app uh, with Synology built in. And what you do is you just go to the backup section and you tell it to connect to your cloud backup. And you can go to the Google Cloud, Amazon Cloud, but you can also like connect it to G Suite. And you have two options, you can either backup, so one way just as a backup in zip files, or you sync it, so you have it both ways. You would need a very, very fast gigabit connection for that. We don't have that here in our office, so we do the one-way backup, which is enough and which is fine. Like that, you, would, you could store all your footage in the cloud and you spend around eight euros per month for any of these providers. This setup is then much better than a hard drive solution and less than like a high-end service solution. So it's somewhere in between. But what will happen in the next few years, the file size will increase by video quality. You wanna make sure that you have enough storage. And as I said, the creative process definitely comes from working with the files whenever you need them. Maybe there is a more pricey solution, maybe there is a cheaper solution, but like in terms of value for money, we think that's a very good way to go. So what's next after that? <laughs> I don't think so. We took all the details and prices and linked them below in the description. So whenever you want to look up what, we, what we've been building here, then you can look that up. So I hope that was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next week.